Hi, this is Ayana Gregory, and you are watching In the Community. This is Naj, and you're watching In the Community TV. Hi, my name is Richard Jeanty. I'm an author, publisher, written eight books, published about 20 something books now. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, check it out. We're bringing the brothers. That's right, the brothers are coming hard. You know, we did this whole big thing with women writers. Now we got the brothers in the house. Say what's up. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? My name is. Uh, 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 he got, you know, he looks a little bit like, like, a, like a young me, but it's all good. So check it out, man. We got a whole bunch of books out there, man. Like damn, man, aren't your hands tired? Like damn, let me, let me feel those hands. Like no, damn. No, 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 like you write a lot of books. That's what I do. That's what I do. So um, what motivated you? Uh, basically, man, I um, I studied film and TV for about twenty years. 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 It was just time to move on from teaching and everything else I was doing with the kids. I worked with the kids for about 12 years, and it was just time to move on. And we, we applaud you. I mean, like, yo, that's a lot of good things going on. I mean, you know, um, we need brothers like you in the community. You know what I'm saying? And we so happen, we glad that you, 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 you know, you're doing your thing from a teacher, man. We applaud you, man. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about. So, um, listen. Um, Give us a quick rundown on some of your books. You got a whole bunch. A man got a whole bunch of books. A man wrote books. All right. I mean, he's a library. He ain't a. He, 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 he a library. Uh, well, my first novel was actually called Neglected Souls. Right. It's a story of hope of two kids. Their mother falls victim to drugs, but it's about them staying focused to become successful, and it's their journey from nothing to prominence. That's what Neglected oh, Souls was about. And of course, I came out with Neglected No More, which was a sequel, part two. And Neglected No More basically uh, chronicles the journey from after college, you know, their success story from after college and how they reconnected with family. Then I, I um, came out with uh, Whip Appeal, which is a story about women saying they want, they want a nice guy, but do they really? Most of the time, when they when they find a nice guy, they end up with a bad boy because they don't want they don't even want to look at his way. But um, then I came out with Sexual Exploits for Nympho, and of course, I came out with a sequel for that, which is a story about a girl who's addicted to sex and how she had to overcome her addiction in order to survive. My latest book, oh, The Most Dangerous Gang in America, the NYPD. That's the book I wrote about the Sean Bell case in New York City. It chronicles all the injustice being done against black men uh, with the police and stuff like that. Uh, I, want, I, was, I was really upset after Sean Bell got killed for no reason, so I wanted to do something about it, so I decided to write a book about it. And then my latest book, Sexual Jeopardy, deals with HIV and AIDS. It's basically... All these young men out there, they're seeing these beautiful women. They don't all beautiful men for these women. They don't know if they're tainted or not. So it's about what you see is not always what you get. So be careful who you're sleeping with and protect yourself. And it's a story, the struggle of this young man who got caught up in a situation with, with somebody who's HIV positive. And I have my latest book, Hood Fellas, dropping November 2008, which is my first street novel. It's about a, it's a story about a felon, an ex-con who comes home. He's having a hard time getting a job, so he had no choice but to become a hood fella. So basically, it's his struggle um, to make it back into society and what he had to do, whether legal or illegal. He really didn't have a choice. So the story is entertainment. It's not one of my uh, moral stories, but it's definitely entertainment. But it still has a moral because a lot of the ex-cons, unfortunately, when they come home, they don't have more opportunities. So that's what Hoodfellas is about. I started writing seven years ago. I'm on, my ninth book is coming out in November. And it's uh, also my first street novel. I've never written a street novel before, but it's uh, off the chain. It's a story, you know, it's like Goodfellas, but it's called Hoodfellas. So it's one of those high joints. Y'all gonna pick up, you know, Paige Turner, like I always put it down. Yeah, so, you know, check it out. Hi, this is Ayana Gregory, and you are watching in the community.